Hi everyone, welcome to Preparation for Fieldwork, um, Health 415. I'm going to open the page so you can see what it looks like. I just want to let you know that while I'm making this recording, the page is not open, but it will be open, of course, by the time you get the video. So I just want to show you the layout of how we everything is set up in the uh, Blackboard page. So for the information section, whoops, excuse me, the syllabus will be here. It's not here yet. Um, the Career Center has a link here to our person who is Sarah Harrison. So when you open this, you'll be able to see her link and information. When the, by the time we have our first meeting, I will post what I think our potential internship sites are for the spring. And that changes. It even changes throughout the semester. Things are added. Things are taken away. Every time we have a meeting and there are slides, I will post the slides here. And as you guys are placed at internships, you, there'll be a list here that shows who's placed, just, just to let you know what I have. So that's the inf informa information section. The submission of documents, I want you to save all of your documents, either pre-intern, the name of the item, year, month, date, name, and remember the month and date must be two digits. So for example, here's an example, pre-intern, name of the document is approval form, the year 2022, the month 02, and the date 18, and then your last name. This is my last name, but your last name would be here. If you submit anything that's not saved like this, I will return it to you and you will have to resubmit. The reason I want it saved this way is all of your information that says pre-intern will be together in your file. Wherever it is you're saving everything, all of your pre-internship work will be together. So let's look at everything. So this course is only one credit so we don't meet every week because we're meeting for an hour and 15 minutes. The state regulation requires we meet 12 and a half hours. And so let's look at all the required activities. So everything is in here by week. Um, you can see the meeting week one and every week is set up the same way. When you open this page, not everything is in here yet because some things are still under development. Um, it's a new course and I do not have everything developed at the time of this um, video. So when you open a week, it tells you what you must complete. It says attend the meeting, it tells you the room, review the handbooks, complete the sign off. So that's what you have to do this week. The other critical thing is week of 9-2, this day is a Monday, so it's the week that starts with the Monday of September 2nd. So just keep that in mind because we meet on Tuesdays, but I started everything on Mondays because that's when the work week starts. So that tells you, then you have two handbooks, you get two points for attending the meeting, and I think you get one point for signing this form. So that's week one, which is the week of September 2nd, we do not meet the first week of classes because that gives us time to catch anybody who may have missed the email from Dr. Fry. Here's another example. Um, it tells you, again, what you must complete. There will then be information on professional behaviors that you'll have to review before you come to class. There'll be lectures on resumes and information on resumes and then there'll be information about choosing a site. None of these folders have anything in them yet because I'm still developing information. I wanted to also show you something down here. So there's a couple weeks where we don't meet. So week seven is the uh, Monday, the, the week that starts on Monday the 7th, but week seven is the Monday that starts the 28th, and week eight is the Monday that starts the 18th. So the reason we don't meet during these times, why there's such a big gap, is that you're doing things related to internship 
that are not requiring you to be in class. So for the interview lesson, here's the interview material, reading, slides with videos. Um, there's a discussion board. There is an interview assignment. You have to meet with the instructor and you have to have a mock interview. And so this all happens over a series of four weeks. And so while you're doing all of this work, we do not need to meet as a class. Another example is down here on week seven, that's on uh, 1028. During this time period, hopefully most of you will be going to interviews. So the goal is that beginning around the 28th of October, and ending before Thanksgiving, you will be going on interviews. Accepting an offer, that hopefully will happen by Thanksgiving. And then we do, we do um, not, we, you, there's are things you're doing online. Um, there's a liability waiver by the week before Thanksgiving. These two items you cannot do until you have an internship. And then week 10, which is the last week of classes, there's some onboarding information. So every single site has different requirements for you to start there. And that's what that lesson is about. And then I will open this down here when we get to that point. So that's our class. That's the way it's set up. I'm excited to work with you this semester and I'm excited to get you placed at an internship that you will enjoy. So I look forward to seeing you. Feel free to stop by my office before the 3rd of September. Otherwise, I'll see you in our classroom on September 3rd.